Hey, 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 DJ Mikey Mike, and we're doing it from scratch today. That's right, we're doing it from scratch. Hey, I got a few projects that I got to get done here, and, um, you know, Tyrone Blue is killing me. We talked about making some front facades a while back, and, you know, I was lagging and didn't step up to the plate, and that boy, he put together a facade that is incredible. Take a look at this thing. Well, mine's not going to be as cool, but it's going to be a facade because I need to get something to clean up the front of my uh, system. It doesn't look quite the way I want it to. So I'm just going to make something quick and easy and uh, I think something that you can do yourself. went to my local home uh, hardware store, Home Depot, and I picked up a few uh, do-it-yourself screen kits and framing and some hinges and I'll show you what I got for material. Also, project number two. I do a lot of vertical trussing with uplighting, okay? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do a materialed tube that I'm going to hang from the ceiling. In a few venues that I have, I'm able to put in some hooks or screws into the ceilings and uh, when I go back to that venue again, I can just go clip and hook into the, uh, the screwed system that I have in there, be able to hang these uh, tubes up and do uplighting tubes. It's going to be really cool. I'm going to show you how to make them. We're going to sew the material, we're going to put the tubes in the top, we're going to weight the bottoms, and we're going to get it all dialed in. I'll show you the product that I have right now, and I'll kind of show you my concept. Um, let's take a look real quick. Okay, now this is uh, the material that I'm going to use. It's the same stuff that I use for my vertical trusses already, and I'm going to use that for the front of my facade to where I can backlight it. i got a big pile of it right there. We're going to be making tubes. Uh, uplighting tubes or uh, vertical vertical tubes. Uh, I went ahead and bought some poly tubing. I think this whole package for a hundred feet for half inch was about ten bucks. And I bought some couplers that go right here onto the side. It's going to connect these two together. The couplers and a couple feet of this in a circle. And on the bottom, I think I'm going to weight it to where I can keep that tube nice and tight so I can pull the wrinkles out of the material if there's any wrinkles uh, when I'm hanging it so I don't have to iron everything all the time. Alright, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try the, I'm just going to do a prototype of the tubed uh, columns that I'm going to do. I'm going to use my little uh, polymer, polymer tubing here and uh, we'll open this up and uh, see what it looks like. Now the polymer tubing, like I said, was about 10 bucks. Uh, the, adapt the little connectors were 77 cents a piece, so I think for 20 bucks uh, I got away with uh, for this project uh, plus materials and you can get your materials uh, what I normally do is go to Joann's uh, fabric shop get it, use a coupon, a 40% off coupon so it's usually about a buck fifty a, a yard. Okay this is about five feet wide, a little over five feet so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go five and a half feet. I'm going to go five and a half feet to be able to stretch it a little bit because this is kind of stretchy material and it'll take the wrinkles out a little bit. So let's measure my polymer tube, approximately five and a half feet. And you can cut this with a scissor, it's real easy. So this is the tube I'm going to make, just like this, and the material is going to wrap around the Okay, these are compression fittings. All they do is just slide right on. And once you put them on, they're hard to take off. Just like that. Okay, and that'll make my, my tube right here. Actually, I'm going to start out with this small little prototype first. And then we're going to hang that from the garage ceiling, put an uplight in and take a look and see how it looks. Okay, so uh, we're going to use this particular piece right here. Okay, what we're going to have to do with the material is we're going to sew, there we go, there's that magic word again, sewing, we're going to sew a little bead right here. So we're going to have a loop right here that the tube is going to slide into. So it's going to be looking similar to something like that. So we're going to have it sewn all the way in there which is going to make it uh, around in a circle area okay and then we're going to attach fishing string in corners of the in the four corners and have a center point for a hanging position
Okay, I sewed it all up. Here's my little sewing job right here. <laughs> Not the greatest, but it'll work. So I have a tube around the top, a tube around the bottom, and then I seamed them both together. So now I have a kind of like a pillowcase almost, like a pillowcase. Okay, so we're going to thread this thing. Hang on. Okay, here we go. Let's see if this is going to work. Looking pretty good so far. Okay, and then just put the compression fitting together. Just like that. And this piece will hide the little black tube. And if it doesn't, you can always paint it white. Just like that. See how that worked? So now we have a tube. Almost like a butterfly net. Now we're going to do the other side. There's my tube. We're going to hang it from the ceiling. Like so. And we're going to up light from the bottom. Now we're going to put a little bit of weight. We're going to put a little sand or weight in the bottom of the tube. So when it hangs, it'll pull the wrinkles out of the uh, material a little bit. And just kind of make it a little bit more taut. Let me see what it does. Yeah, that's going to be perfect. Okay, so I'm going to hang this up right now. And then I'm going to grab an up light and just up light it and see what it looks like. So what I'm going to use to hang this with is 80 pound to 150 pound uh, fishing string. Okay, I couldn't find my fishing string. <laughs> I usually have a lot of that stuff around. But I got some kite string, a little white kite string. I'm just going to tie it around the tube in a couple locations and we're going to use it to hang it up. All right, this is DJ Mikey Mike. We're doing it from scratch. Okay, here's my prototype concept. Uh, the tube, flying tubes. I've seen this done before. Uh, I'm not sure exactly who or what or where I, I saw it, but I actually did see this before. So I can't take full credit for it. But uh, uh, I finally got around to making up my, this is my little project that I wanted to make for you guys, doing it from scratch. So here we go, take a look. Now this is a small little version. It's you can imagine this thing 20 foot high in the, in the ceiling, depending on what your venue is. A uh, very inexpensive way to make yourself vertical trussing or columns. Okay, the string that's holding it up, uh, you can come up, I was just gonna put a little hook at the top and just go hook, hook it right up on top. Uh, this will be all covered up when I do it correctly on the, uh, the one, but you can always paint that white if it comes out like that. And notice the little wrinkles in here. Now, if you had a weighted bottom and it pulled, it would pull some of the wrinkles out. Okay, so let's look inside. Down there is a LED PAR 56. Now, you don't have to worry about uh, heat or anything like that into the little con containers. Uh, and you can also put a little gaff tape on the bottom and hold it to the floor if you want it also. So let's go ahead and plug this thing in. There we go. One vertical column. Don't forget. Four, five, ten, twenty foot high. You'll be at the hit of the party uh, for a low expense. All right, pretty cool. And now I just have that park in on a, on a random chase, uh, just having to select it, so it's uh, chasing here for us. And you can point the seam to another location depending on where you're at. Hey, DJ Mikey, Mike, and Direct Sound, and we're doing it from scratch. That's right. We're all done with our vertical tube socks. And uh, flying socks, how about that? <laughs> uh, LED style. All right, this is DJ Mikey Mike with Direct Sound, doing it from scratch. Peace.